the Lake District bagging Wayne rocks and outlying fells. With his trusty eyepiece, a cap, and rugged good looks. His name, name is Dave Ostel, the mountain man. He wanders through the Lake District bagging Wayne rocks and outlying fells. With his trusty eyepiece, a cap, and rugged good looks. His name is Dave Ostel. Right, welcome back to another outlying Wainwright walk and big day today. We're in Dunnerdale to do the Dunnerdale Fells. Two walks, east and west. We're doing the east one first, which consists of Raven Crag, the Knot, Green Pikes, Pikes and Core before we return to the car. We've got a few guests today. Paul Holland, first time I met him. Mary Ashbridge and Dave, usual, we know Dave, hiking, biking. Paul's got a channel as well, Catherine Lakeland. Mary doesn't, yes. <laughs> she does. <laughs> she does, yeah. <laughs> Fat boy's on tour. Nice, let's give her a help. But aye. So apparently good pass. A lot of people say this is uh, the favourite walk of the outline fell, so very much looking forward to it. It's about six miles this east side round before, yeah, we return on to the west side. And I think that's uh, Great Stickle or Stickle Pike up there. Uh, Dunnerdale Fells, Tarn Hill and Great Stickle right at the very end there. Just a three mile of that one. The car park we've parked at is called Kiln Bank Cross. Free parking for about six or seven cars there. It is a, a tough drive through the gate just after the little village called Hoses by the farm there. You have to open the gate drive through, close the gate. One of them ones there. Um, luckily we've got here pretty early today so there's neat cars coming the other way to because it's quite a narrow road so not looking forward to going back down on that as, as usual. But aye, what we can see here is the first summit of the day of Raven Crag and then that goes all the way down onto the notch just down there. So I believe there's two summits up here. Uh, once we've done that we're going to scoot round the back of this well and up onto Green Pikes and Pikes, followed by coming back via Core Fell, which is, uh, yeah, a very iconic shape. So we're heading up towards this mine here, and then up the fell. Right, so a comfortable path so far. Uh, just heading up, contouring round the hill. I think there's many different ways you can do there. You can go direct, I suppose, but I think we're going to have a detour around over the mines and things there and then a nice walk down the ridge there you must start about 150 200 meters up on that car park so i don't expect to be huffing and puffing <laughs> and we're nearly up on the ridge of, of raven crag just here so i uh, very comfortable walk helps with the old company as well just uh, get everyone bantering and you forget that you you do an exercise so i'm very much sold on this group walking it's great I think we've chosen the steep way, but get the job done quicker. Here it is here. This is the ridge. There's two summits there. One here. I think this is the high point, but I believe the Wainwright is actually the end point, as he tends to like. These are a couple of fells that we can see we're going to be doing later. There's Stickle Pike, great stickle there. There's lots of tarns in this area. I'm looking forward to those. And then we're looking over here to the Pike Hesk Fell. Probably the most anticlimactic fell of the outlying fells. It looks spectacular, but absolutely bugger all to see or touch on the summit. So I have one to go back to to build a cairn on. Right, so I can't really get lost on this route. There's multiple different paths heading up in various different directions, but head for the ridge. You've got, you can now see a core, I think, in the background just over here. Down onto pikes and green pikes potentially there. See a summit up at the top of that one, but I don't know what that is. I don't think that's an outlying fell. But, uh, lots of different crags and summits in this area. A great area to explore. 60 for one? You, you, weren't, you were not 60. I was 60. He's off 50 now. Oh, we just have to wish happy birthday to Dave because I forgot last week. Happy 50th birthday, Dave. 50? Yeah. I'm 25. 25. Hey, old bullshit. 35. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 41, so. 
got a bit more experience to go catch up to these these lads here. Pressure, see if we can catch any slips on here. Right, just came to the viewpoint of uh, Raven's Crag. I think the summit's just uh, over yonder there. And then we're going to go down onto Knock, just at 10 point there. Uh, look at this view, absolutely spectacular. Uh, see all the way down to where we parked there, the cars. So we've just built a cairn on this fell. I told you I was going to get into cairn building, I've got some employees now. So Here we are, I think at the high point of Raven's Crag, 3.6 one meters on the day for claim this is a win right like are you getting a pump no all uh, right paul good it's all gone good piss <laughs> probably Unusual little tarn here. It's nestled against this these rocks. Lovely. There's a lot of newts, so I can see a frog spawn. It's the wrong time of year. Frogs, frog spawn in it. Looks like there's loads of it. That's it. We're just about down Ravens Crag now. Go out and back up to the knock before we come back down this path and around the side. Over the fell. All happy, good. All happy. You need choice. <laughs> Here we are. A lovely big cairn on the summit of the second outlying fell of the day. The Knot. Spectacular. Nope, too slippy. So, we'll just take it anyway. Oof. Well then. Boo. I'm Mary. Boo. There. Well done. Ah, so that wasn't such a chore. About an hour or so in. And, uh, yeah, this is the end of the ridge. Everything else is north from here. Got uh, pikes over here core and then green pikes is just behind that so there is an obvious path there and it's kind of just heading up towards pikes that we'll take and then uh, once we finish that back down to the car kill and cross you can see it just on the horizon over there so we'll head up stickle pike great stickle dunnerdale fells and tarn hill are all in that section there i bet he wishes this was some time soon <laughs> <laughs> excuse me can be quiet please Take ceremony <laughs> the knot yeah You may resume the conversation now. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if I'm over filming these views or not, but absolutely quality. I love this area and I'll be back frequently. I'm looking, like I say, over to call my mate Kevin Thompson, who is a subscriber initially, but now is a mate of mine. Um, he's finishing on that on this weekend, I think. He's out lying around. I met him on Kirkstone Pass last year. Uh, I'll put a picture up here <laughs> of the of the occasion. I think he's even got a T-shirt made of the of the moment because he thought I was a big YouTuber, but he didn't know I was just uh, a pleber. Anyway, anyway, I'm just gonna finish the brew here and uh, crack an hour to Pikes. Uh, Rachel's right, going back. Uh, well, we're uh, yeah, waiting yeah. for you. All right, yeah, we've got. So, yeah, we'll... Dave and Paul, no, Mary and Paul, uh, I've got to go back to the car and wait for us. We'll go and do the, the west side after that. Uh, me and Cleggy here, we're going to go <laughs> on the right side up to Cor and uh, Pikes Hour here. Doesn't look that far away. Uh, we'll see you about four. Four? Yeah. So well, me and Dave are going to run, aren't we? So. Yeah. Right, so that's looking back at the knot and we've just followed the good paths. Fairly obvious, I mean, the bracken's dead at the moment, so it might not be so in the height of summer, but uh, it's heading in the direction we need up to Pikes over here. 
Um, like I say, we've got a route plotted. I'm slightly off it at the moment, but yeah, there's, there's, there's numerous paths, and I think we'll just uh, take the line of least resistance, I think, up to the summit there. Good. Right, so that's just still working our way towards Pikes now. It's kind of a bit of a free for all walking. There's uh, multiple different paths, so I think you're alright if you make a few mistakes. I mean, it's quite gradual descents and uh, it's largely grass anyway and moss. But aye, so this is where we're heading now, all the way down. So that's looking back at the crags of Raven's Crag. Lots of different summits over there. And like I say, yeah, there's, there's, there's paths shooting off everywhere. It looks like they're doing a bit of work in this area. There's tree planting. Um, here's Cor. But I plan on going over Cor at the end. So we're choosing to go this path and it looks a bit more gradual. There's Pikes again, Cor. So yeah, we're just heading towards the skyline up here. There are paths, like I say, they're getting a bit more faint now. I don't think this is a the most popular way. Like I say, you can go direct up to car from the car park, but uh, sort of turned this one into a bit of a loop just for a bit of variety, but ah, it's fairly gradual, not too taxing. I actually love this area. Okay, so there's car, and we've just identified this isn't Pikes. Apparently it's Tall Crag, so Pikes must be just behind that one somewhere. But uh, like I say, a bit of free roaming through the moorlands there. You can't really hurt yourself, although it is a a wee bit boggy we're just heading for this little call here a little gap in the mountain that'll take us around on two pikes and green pikes strange little fort it's got like stone walls I wonder if it's maybe a burial site of some sort <laughs> let's have a closer look at it Oh, hey. These are sites you don't see on the main way in right fells. A little bit of a off the beaten track route. These are interesting, look like gravestones. Hmm. A door and everything. Good place to live, a little flowing water next to it, so you've probably got natural toilet facilities. Right, so I've just gone on ahead to go and pick up green pikes, which is an out and back. I'm going to meet Dave on pikes, just adjacent to it, save him some walking. Uh, it must be just over here. They're very close together, these two, both around 430 odd metres each. Okay, so I think that's pikes behind us. I'm searching for the summit of Green Pikes. Um, I'm not 100% sure which it is, so I'll go over to the edge over here. I think I've identified it as this over here. It's green and it's pike shaped, so we'll head for that. Right, so here we are on the summit of Green Pikes, the third outlying fell of the day. There's a bit of a cairn, someone's made a, an effort, but that's opened up absolutely splendid. Look at that. Oh, wow. We'll take it. Cheers. Boom. Great, we're going to hang around here, I don't want to keep Dave waiting. The clag's coming in sadly, Cor's in it now. It might be, it looks like it's going to be in it for the day, so no bother. This is Pikes over here, the fourth of the day. And I'm going to head that way and rejoin Dave. This one's 411 meters and that one's about 450 yards, so a little bit of a send back up to that. Right, I guess this might also be green pikes, but that's the more prominent feature with the best views off the end. Uh, Dave's just up here, I've just seen him on the summit of pikes. Right, nearly there. That's looking back at green pikes. Ah, it's definitely the most prominent little hill down there. Confident we've got it, and here's Dave. Just on the summit. There we are, waiting for us for the fourth fell of the day. Fourth outlying fell of the day, Pikes. Well done, Dave. Where's the summit? We'll have it here. Oh, I still views to speak of. 
Stunning. Sort of. Move. Oh. Aye. Right, I'm going to sit here for 10 minutes and tackle core, which we can't see now, sadly. The clags beat us. Oh, jeez. Look at this view down here. Lighting's still getting through in these crags here. The oranges and the greys. Yeah, green pike's just down there. Right, that's just down from the pikes, and we're heading over to the clag of core, though it is shifting this. Uh, this clag, it's quite a strong wind now, I've put my jacket back on. Funny, it's just come out of absolutely nowhere. Right, so, still plodding our way up. Car fell, 529 metres. Feels a lot more than that. We've had a nice walk, it's been a bit off piece, but uh, like I say, that's what you expect on these fells. However, I was told the paths are a lot better than this than they actually are. They're very faint. <laughs> but uh, I guess I'm in a grumpy mood now because the clags came in. <laughs> I've still got the west side of Dunnerdale to do, albeit only a three mile walk. I think we've done what, six to this point, so. Aye. Now we're halfway, which is good news. Right, here we are. On the fifth outlying Wayne Wright of the day. And one of the few that we've had clagged in in the whole series. Four, 529 meters. Windy. Anyway, we're not going to hang around here because now to see. Short trip back down to the car park. And I'm going to start at the top. Wish me luck. So we've just popped out of the clag, thankfully. Just down from Cor there, and we're heading back to Kiln Cross Car Park. Shouldn't be too far away. Go quickly, quicker. Right, part two. Dunnerdale West. We've had a bit of a relay change. Yeah. Dave's gone yam because he's fat. After eight miles in the east. <laughs> P, T, uh, PH and uh, MH. MA. Uh, or Norabati and, uh, <laughs> and Foggy. Or Captain Scarlet, I should say. Hi. Anyway, Gan, stickle pike bus. And then these are going to leave us to go and rot on my own. So I'll be going down to Grape Stickle. It's better than Stickle Pike because it's great. <laughs> Then Tarn Hill and Dunnerdale Fells. Three miles. I've got three and a half hours of daylight left. So I can't do a mile an hour, I'll retire on this video. Let's go. Alright, that's looking back over to Core where we've just descended. Beautiful clear skies now, so you can imagine how I'm feeling right now. Uh, yeah, very much clear. I'll have to go back up there again because uh, a very spectacular. Perfect tortilla shaped mountain. I think I misrepresented um, it on a previous walk actually, Devoke Water. I think I said it was Wall in the Scar. It's not. It's a pyramid shaped mountain on this this Dunnerdale Ridge. It's uh, Cor. So yeah, now I know. I'm corrected my mistake. But I shouldn't be too bad this one. Feeling good. Plenty of deal. I still left and lab here coming up to Gan. But Bus fell here. Stickle Pike. Hey. Mary and Paul bombing on ahead. We're going the direct route up Stickle Pike. I've spotted a more gradual route up here, but no, they decided they want to kill us up here. Look how steep this is. Knee rest for the wicked. After doing that. Anyway. We all worth it in the end. These folk are trying to kill us. They've just had a four hour rest waiting at the car for us. This could be the summit here. I can see a cairn. I'm a bit perplexed why they haven't gone to it. Oh, there they are. The bees to it. Six outline. Way right of the day. Stickle. Pike. Boom. Hold on. Boom. Boom. Oh. Oh aye, it's not bad is it? At least the clag shifted and get some decent views now. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah. 
There we go. This is a much better view of the entire route. You can see the, the next one now. Great stickle just over the bend there. Like I say, a tan hill. Dunnerdale Fells. Didn't know which one that is, so that might be fun finding it, but yeah, straightforward. So yes, we're just working our way down this little pike now on this really good path and it's very straightforward. You can see them all going off in the directions that you need there. Very obvious grey stickle and tan hill there, so yeah. I don't think I'll need my navigation device for the rest of this one and it doesn't look too far away so that's a, a bit of relief <laughs> after that previously long walk in the east I, I probably wouldn't recommend doing it as a circular but you know we've got to see some interesting things on there little houses in the middle and shepherd's huts that not many people have probably got to see so sometimes good going off the beaten track but when you're doing two walks in one day maybe not so hey that's just looking back at Stickle Pike there see how far we've come not too far Car in the distance there. Oh, I really wish it was clear on there. I'm upset. I've only had like three or four outline fells where it's been clag on, but that was really special, that one to me. So, Kev Thompson, I hope to see it on uh, on your final outline fell this weekend. Show me what the views are like. Which I nearly got to the top of Great Stickle. Whoa. Right, here we are on what are we on? Seventh outlying fell of the day. Seven for you. Great stickle. Boom. Well done. Well done, Paul. Well done, Dave. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. I know you've done this one already. But look at these views. Cracking. As they have been all day, apart from probably the best fell of the day, Cor. But uh, I've got Nout up there. Right. So we're just leaving Great Stickle. Paul and Mary are going to go head over to Tarn Hill while I nip over here to pick up Dunnerdale Fells. Like I say, I'm just making a beeline for Dunnerdale Fells, which I think is just here. Tarn Hill is the final one of the day. Number nine, number eight. So, not too far. All right. Lovely area up here. Lots of scattered little tarns. Probably why it's called Tarn Hill. Or well, two of them are called that. <laughs> Right, that's just us down from Dunnerdale Fells. A little crag on the end there, it's got a cairn on it. Just walked across, a bit boggy, but it's all right. We're heading up here to the final outline fell of the day, Tarn Hill. Right, made it. Here we are. Nine, summit. Summit fells, I can't remember what we're doing. Tan Hill, well done. Boom. Well done, you. Yeah. Well, well done, Paul. Oh, hi. I can see them all from here, just about. Old uh, Stickle Pike there. Great Stickle. Dunnerdale Fells. Tan Hill, one. And then the proper Tan Hill, just here. Surrounded by lovely tans. Cheers. Boom. Uh, how much? Enough wood. Tan. Last Tan Hill. Cheers. Mm. That's a good cup today. Twinings. Sponsor us. I'm going to drink peasant tea. Alright, so I think we've got them all. A little bit unsure about Dunnerdale Fells. I'm thinking it might be them crags over there, but that one does have a cairn on it, so. Right, I think I made a slight mistake with Dunnerdale Fells, so last minute decision. I've seen a cairn on this fell over here. A little bit of error on my behalf. What I thought was Dunnerdale Fells, I'm quite sure isn't, because I've just looked over here, and this is more in line with what my watch is saying for what Dunnerdale Fells Summit is. So, 
Paul and Mary have gone back to the car. Appreciate you coming. Thank you very much. And, and Dave's already yeah, on his way young by now. But I'm just going to quickly nip over here to this cairn to what I think is actually Dunadale Fells. That's looking back to Stickle Pike. Right, the good thing about walking in this area, it's absolutely fantastic. There's loads of paths, but you don't even need them. <laughs> you can just make a beeline. It's quite nice ground. Grass isn't too long. And uh, you can uh, get to where you're going very easily. Right, here we are. You can see what I mean. Massive cairn, I couldn't miss that. So this is what I think is Dunadale Fells. Bang on the line on my watch again. I was a bit concerned. I think the fell I did was a little crag over there. So I'm thinking that might be called Tarn Hill too. And that's Tarn Hill, the proper one there. That was number eight for the day. So yeah, this is Dunadale Fells, the ninth outline fell. And that completes the Dunadale Fells. I hope you're following. Cheers. Hi, so that's looking back over to Stickle Pike there, from Tarn Hill. This is what I thought um, Dunadale Fells was, but no, it's a named summit of some description, but it's not the outline Wainwright, I don't think. I think that's also called Tarn Hill, a smaller one, but uh, this here is definitely Dunadale Fells, so that'll complete nine for the day and put us on 109 in total, seven more to go. One more week of walking. <laughs> And then I might retire. But aye, right, this is looking down on to uh, was it Burkerfell Road over there, heading past Heskfell. I didn't know what this road is, I can't remember, I don't think I've ever drove that one. But anyway, I'm just gonna have a chill here for 10 minutes. Oh, look at these uh, crabopular rays, I think they're called in photography. I'm the expert, but I think that's, a, that's what they're called.